Hey, good morning. Thank you for joining us for Hope Church Online. Uh, if you would, just take a moment, like this video, and subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. Uh, before we begin, today's May 3rd, and it's a very special day because it is my daughter's birthday. So, Katie, I know you're watching. I want to say to you that I love you. You're a very special girl. I know God loves you. He has a plan for you. And uh, I'm so happy to be your dad, and I just pray that you have a blessed weekend, a blessed birthday, and just a great year. Uh, I love you very much. Uh, as you can see, we're standing outside uh, in front of this down pine tree, and I'll talk more about that uh, in a little bit. But this has been a very, very strange year for South Carolina. We've already had uh, 14 tornadoes, uh, uh, one of them being very strong and severe, and they've caused a lot of damage. Uh, we've had loss of life, we've had injuries, we've had homes that have been destroyed, homes that have been damaged. Uh, and one of the things that you will see uh, as you as you drive around as you will see numerous in the thousands of trees that have been blown over by these storms and many of those are pine trees such as the one uh, behind me right here and uh, pine trees uh, in general can be easily damaged in storms uh, by two things one is if they have a damaged root system uh, the second thing is uh, if they have a shallow root system and let me tell you a little bit about pine trees uh, pine trees have basically two types of roots they have what's called a a, a tap root and then they have shallower um, secondary roots that go about 12 inches underground you can see all these roots sticking out of this uh, pine tree behind me that's been toppled over by the storm uh, this tap root provides stability and it helps anchor the tree let me say that again so that you understand. The tap root in a pine tree helps provide stability and it helps anchor the tree. The tap root is also called a primary root and it grows downward in search of water and uh, all the other roots kind of uh, sprout laterally from it. If the tap root uh, is not able to go deep in the ground, then the tree's strength is found only in these shallow roots that you see here. So if it doesn't have a deep root, if the tap root is not able to go deep in the ground, then all these shallow roots that you see right here that are about 12 inches underground, or maybe even less than that, that's what gives the tree uh, its strength, its strength. And so shallow roots and no firm tap root uh, is a disaster for a tree during a storm. Um, this time that we're in right now uh, of isolation, of going through all the uh, stipulations dealing with it, going, uh, living through a pandemic, uh, it's caused us to think a lot, to spend a lot of time by ourselves. And uh, we've had a lot of time uh, to reflect. And honestly, um, a lot of pastors are, are saying that they're really discouraged right now because of, of what they're seeing uh, from their church. Uh, their, their people are not wanting to participate in their online services. People are not coming to their driving services. People are not, uh, they're, they quit giving. Uh, they're not trying to connect even if the church is reaching out to them. Uh, they're not replying back and a lot of pastors are discouraged and you may be discouraged too. But during this time, uh, I believe that uh, this pandemic has revealed some faults in our personal lives and this reveals some faults in the church. Uh, see, the church is, is important. Sunday gatherings are important. My goodness, do we need uh, our Sunday gatherings. But that cannot be the only thing that you have to provide stability uh, in your spiritual life. That cannot be the only thing to help you grow deep roots in Christ. It can't be just about the church. Uh, it has to have more than that. We have to have more than that and so i believe this pandemic has revealed uh, some shortcomings in our lives and we as pastors need to figure out how to help people get deeper roots in christ because who knows what the future is going to hold and this thing about having shallow roots uh, jesus spoke about this too it's called the the parable of the sower and uh, if you have your phone app or bible nearby uh, i would encourage you to read that either right now with me or this week to read it but it's found in Mark chapter 4, 
and it's verses 16 and 17. Now, Jesus talks about four different types of soil. I just want to key on one. I just want to key on one. And here's what he said in verse 16. Mark 4, verse 16. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy, verse 17. But since they don't have deep roots, they don't last. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. Jesus is making it clear here that without deep roots, you cannot endure the storms of life. You can see on this tree behind me, there is very shallow roots on this pine tree. And a lot of pine trees are that way. That, that main primary root is not able to get into this clay soil that we have here uh, in the south. And so we have all these shallow roots that come out and this tree was stop, uh, uh, toppled over and blown over by the storm. And Jesus is saying in our own lives, in our own lives that if we don't have deep roots, we will not make it through the storms. Look again at verse 17. Since they don't have deep roots, they don't last. And really that's kind of part of the sad thing is we see people show up at church, we see people take a next step, we see people and they're joyous and they're excited, and then the storms come and things happen in their life and they fall away. Why? Because they don't put any deep roots in their lives life is much like this tree behind me here in order to survive the storms you got to have some deep roots in your life and those roots for us as followers of christ have to be found in christ did you hear me they have to be found in christ in other words, not in your job situation, not in your relationships, not in your marriage, not in your finances, not in your health, not in what is going on around the world, not as what the news is saying, not in any of those things are we to put our roots down in. Now, jobs are important, relationships are important, marriages are important, but you have got to put a deep root in Christ. You've got to get connected with Him and put some deep spiritual roots in your life. And then let all those other things come out from that. Your marriage relationship, your job relationship, your friendships. Every other thing come from the source of having a deep root in Christ. Listen, the storms of life, they're going to come. They're going to come. We're in a storm right now. Something we've never ever been through in our life. And we got to prepare for those storms and we prepare for those storms by putting deep roots in Christ got another verse I want you to look at is Colossians chapter 2 verse 7 this is the New Living Translation I, I love the way it says this Colossians chapter 2 verse 7 and look at listen to this it says let your roots grow down into him meaning Christ and let your lives be built on him again meaning Christ Turn your faith, oh, then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. Look at it again. Let your roots grow down into, let's just say Christ. And let your lives be built on Christ. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. How much thankfulness is overflowing out of your life right now in the midst of all the different difficult things and different things that are going on? How much thankfulness is flowing out of your life right now? See, we can teach you truth. We can teach you truth. And I, and I hope we do teach you truth every week, whether we're gathered together at Hope Church or whether we're gathered here online. But the ultimate responsibility to have a life, deep, a life deeply rooted in Christ, it's yours. It's yours. We'll teach you the truth, but you have got to put your roots deep down into Christ. You've got to let your lives be built on Him. And your life is not built just around a Sunday service. What about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday? What are you doing with your life on those days? Is your life built around Christ? See, the ultimate responsibility to have your life rooted in Christ, it's yours. 
It's not the churches. We are to help it. We are to encourage it. We are to challenge you. We are to help give the word of God to you to change you. But when you walk out those doors, when you turn the TV off, when you close your phone off, it is your responsibility to put your roots deeply in Christ, to build your life upon Him. My life is not built on what the news says. My life is not built on what's going on around me. My life is not built on my finances. My life is built and rooted deeply on Christ. Christ. And that's what you got to do with your life. That's what you got to do with your life. That's why it says then, let your roots grow down into Christ. Let your life be built on him. Then you will grow strong in the truth. See what this pandemic has revealed to a lot of us is that our spiritual relationship is is really not as strong as we thought. Come on, be honest with me. Be honest with me. It's not as strong as we thought it was. And I think a lot of pastors are, are kind of dealing with that too because our church is not as spiritually strong as we thought when we're not able to meet. And then we see and we read what's happening with a lot of people that go to our church and, and we call and they don't answer and they don't log online. They don't come to the drive-in services. They're not, they're not giving and they're putting stuff about worry and anxiety and fear. Yeah, that's okay. But in the middle of all that, you've got to be rooted deeply in Christ. In Christ. See, the stronger the roots, the stronger the tree. I don't think we would say this is too strong of a tree behind me. I don't see any deep roots. I don't see big roots. I see a lot of shallow roots. And we see what happened to it. It It's destroyed by a storm. Listen, I don't want your life destroyed by a storm. I don't want your life destroyed by a storm. And the storms, listen... Look, look at me. They're going to come. They're going to come. So you need to decide right now to build your life, to center your life on Christ. To grow in Him. To be deeply rooted in Him. See, deeply rooted trees continue to grow year after year after year after year. And they survive storm after storm after storm you can drive around and you can see a tree standing and right beside it you can see one like this one behind me you're like why did that one fall and the one beside it didn't probably because of its root system probably because the tree that's standing had some deep roots The deeper the roots, the stronger the tree. The deeper the spiritual roots that you put down in Christ in your life, the stronger the person that you will be. The stronger the person that you will be. And this is really what God challenges us. He challenges us to to grow, to put some deep roots down in Christ. Down in Christ. And it's extremely important that you understand that. When we go back to the pine tree, we, we've got that primary root. We've got that tap root that, that is going to tap into the ground, to tap into the water, to tap into the, the nourishments to help provide for the rest of the tree. And you've got to have a tap root in your life. And that's in Christ. And you've got to tap into his presence. You've got to tap into his power. You've got to tap into his anointing, his spirit, his peace, his joy. You've got to tap into that today. In the midst of this time that we're facing right now, you've got to tap into Christ. And center your life on him. And grow in him. And that responsibility is up to you. So, so how... Can we do that? What is some some application of what we're talking about today? Listen, what you feed grows, right? What you feed grows. And you've got to feed your spiritual life. You've got to stay. One is you've got to stay connected to your church body. Whether you're part of Hope Church or some other church, I, I encourage you to go online and watch their services and to log in and participate. Let them know that you're there. If you're having drive-in services, then then go to those drive-in services. If you feel safe about it, go stay in your car and enjoy that and be a part of that. 
if they're calling you, if they're trying to connect with you, then I encourage you to answer the phone, to reach out to them, to let them know how you're doing, and to be honest and to share prayer requests with them. Let them know what's going on. Contact some of the other people in your church. Ask them how they're doing. Stay connected to your body, the body of Christ, because the limb disconnected from the body is really no good and will die. And you need to stay connected to your church. You need to stay connected to your body that Christ has made you a part of. Second thing you got to do is you got to strengthen your own relationship with Christ. You've got to strengthen your own relationship with Christ. We, we talk a lot in the church and we say, hey, you need to read your Bible and hey, you need to pray. But listen, I'm going to tell you, don't do that as some form to just check something off the box or some religious activity because this thing about being rooted in Christ. It's about a relationship with a loving God that cares, that speaks, that listens, that understands. And so I want to encourage you to spend some time with God this week in a personal way. We can say pray, but how about just let's say talk. Talk to God this week. Ask Him to strengthen your roots in Christ. Ask Him what you need to do to strengthen your roots in Christ. Talk to Him this week in a very personal, in a very real way. And open up the Bible. That's His Word. You say, well, God's not speaking to me. <laughs> yes, He is. Oh, yes, He is. You're just not looking or listening in the right place. Open up your Bible. It doesn't have to be a lot. Maybe read a chapter. And before you do, say, God, speak to me. God, I want you to, to, to speak to me. And so you got to strengthen your own roots in Christ. And this has exposed a lot of weaknesses, and maybe you're kind of down, and maybe you realize that you wasn't as strong in Christ as you thought. Well, then what are you going to do about it? I'm trying to encourage you today to put some roots down in Christ. But it's going to be up to you to do it. you got to get out His Word and, and ask God to speak to you through the Psalms and through Proverbs and maybe begin reading the Gospels and the life of Jesus and how He responded to people and just look at His life. You've got to do that. So spend some time in His Word this week. Spend some time praying and just ask God to help you grow deep in Christ. To grow deep in Christ. Put some roots down in Christ. And to say, as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. We're going to serve the Lord. The third thing, or the last thing I want you to do this week, is I want you to memorize that Colossians 2.7. That's the new translation. It would be a good verse to memorize this week. Let your roots grow down into Him and let your lives be built on Him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. I encourage you to memorize that verse this week and make it a prayer in your life. Listen, you need to tap into Christ. Man, that's what you need to tap into right now is you need to tap your life into Christ. Let Him be the primary root and let everything else flow out of your relationship with Him. And when you do this, you'll be able to stand against any storm that comes your way. Any storm that comes your way. Again, look at this behind me. An uprooted tree because of a very shallow root system. I don't want to see that happen to any of y'all. I don't want to see that happen to you. I don't want to see that happen to your family. We're going through some difficult times, but you've got to put your roots down in Christ. And I, I love the fact that it's a tap root. It's a primary root, and all the other roots kind of grow from that. Because, see, we've got all these different parts of our lives that are important. Man, our finances, your finances are important. Your health is important. Your relationships is important. Your marriage is important. But don't make that your primary root. Your primary root has to be in Christ. And when He's the center and all those other things flow out of that, then your life is centered rightly and correctly. And when that happens, you'll be able to withstand all the storms that may come your way. Father, thank you for everyone that's watching today. I pray right now that you would bless them, that you would refresh them right now, that your peace would fill their lives, their mind, their heart, and their homes. 
Fill them with the peace and the presence of God. And I pray that each and every one of us would be challenged to center our life on Christ and that we would talk to you in a very real and personal way this week and we would even ask you, Lord, what do I need to do to be more centered in Christ? Because my roots need to be deep in Christ in order for me to withstand, in order for you to withstand the storms. So, Lord, I pray that everyone watching will center their life on Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before we go, maybe you're watching and you've never given your life to Christ. Now would be a great time to do that. To believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. To believe that He paid the price for your sins, for your own life. That He died on the cross. That He was resurrected by the power of God. And sits at the right hand of God today. And that He's coming back soon one day. And there'd be no better time than right now for you to ask Christ to come into your life and to center your life on Him. So I challenge you to do that right now. To get on your knees or maybe take a walk or go outside and just ask God to, to come into your life and fill your life and that you want to center your life on Him right now. That maybe all the storms have been blowing around and that's been the center of your life. But right now is you want to make a change in your life. So I encourage you to pray that prayer. To pray that prayer. And if you do, you can, you can type, you can text to us the word HOPE at 864-840-8089. The word HOPE to 864-840-8089. And we'll send you a message. We'll send you some materials. We'll encourage you. We'll reach out to you and connect with you and help you on this journey. There is no greater journey than a spiritual journey of following Christ and having a relationship with Him. Hey, I love you. I miss you. Uh, try to send something out to you this week to let you know of uh, some more things that are going on. We're getting closer and closer to being able to get back together. Before we go, everybody give a shout out to Katie for her birthday. Everybody put a like right there. Give a shout out to Katie and wish her a happy birthday. Uh, we love you so much. Thank you for joining us today. I pray you have a great week, a great week, and that your life will not end up like this tree, but that you will stand strong when the storms of life come because your life is centered and rooted in Christ. I love you. Have a great week, and we'll see you again soon. Don't forget, before you go, to like and subscribe so you don't miss anything, and we'll see you again real soon.